Okay. I'd be really interested to see the results from that. This is the kind of work that saves lives. Advanced cancer research. So you're working with line one? Supervised by Emma Bell, but only for now. A bit black box. She's taking her PhD and her expertise to Toronto because of Brexit. I'm really upset to be moving, but I think it's necessary. It definitely is a nightmare. Um, the problem is the uncertainty. Like, that's the worst bit. If we knew what we could expect, we could plan for it. For instance, she worries about DNA samples destined for analysis in Germany. They need to be delivered across borders pronto. We know that there's going to be a lot of delay, a lot of fuss. We don't know how long that's going to last. Whether at Imperial College London or elsewhere, there's concern UK innovation will be crippled. The first ever text message was sent here. British technology helped the Philae lander reach a comet. And who can forget Dolly, the Scottish sheep, the world's first to be cloned? What's important for science, you know, is, is it really important for the country. Nobel laureate Venki Ramakrishnan and 34 other esteemed scientists co-signed a letter to the British Prime Minister, underlining the importance of British-EU cooperation. Creating new barriers, they wrote, will inhibit progress to the detriment of us all. The risk is that um, we will not be perceived as a go-to place for science. Most EU nationals at this sprawling research centre say they're less likely to stay after Brexit. Among them, Yasmin Soren from Germany, whose job in London is funded by the EU. I took it quite personal at the time, this vote against the EU, because I am an EU citizen and I'm here because of the EU, and so many of my friends are. At Imperial College, Emma Bell is rushing to finish a research paper in a month. After that, it's off to Toronto's Princess Margaret Cancer Centre. A big gain for Canada, sure, but it signals even bigger trouble for Britain. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.